Hello, hello. Hello, hello. Good evening, teacher. Good evening. Good evening. Welcome back. Welcome back. How you doing today? How you doing today? Are you ready? How yes. do you how do you feel today? So a little far. bit tired. <laughs> really? A little bit tired. Why? But here we are. Why are I you tired? Know. Maybe the job. Oh, really? You had to work all day today? Yes. How many, how many hours did you work today? Mm, seven, but it's in a construction. So really? you I am architect. Construction. <laughs> <laughs> oh I my God, you have big muscles. <laughs> uh, I just watching the um supervisando, no sé cómo se diga. Supervising, supervising. supervising. Ah, mm -hmm. okay. Supervising. So, so mm -hmm. you say, is that heavy? Is that heavy, guys? <laughs> move, move <laughs> Something this, like that. Move this over here, please. No, I don't like that. Move it again. <laughs> Yes, but it's uh, upside the the sun, so it's a little bit tired. Ah, okay, okay. And what are you building right now? It's a sede your... industrial. I'm sorry, repeat. Sede industrial. Sede industrial. Ah, like a shopping center? Yes, yeah, something like that. Oh, okay. <laughs> Yeah, that's why you you look a little bit sunburned. Yes, I do that. I like. It. <laughs> that's good. As long as you do something that you enjoy and something that makes you happy, mm -hmm. that's the important thing, right? Because mm -hmm. you know when you're doing something that you don't like, uh, working with people that you don't mm -hmm. like, ugh, that's not a yes. that's not a good thing. So. Mm -hmm. And how long have you been an architect? Uh, well, um, this 27, I gonna graduate. So I oh, architect wow. junior. <laughs> wow, congratulations. Thanks. Intelligent woman. I know, thanks. Excellent, that's good. You look very young. So to me, I like to 24? see- Oh I yeah. I have 24. Oh yeah, you are a baby. <laughs> yes, I am. It's uh for me, it's inspiring to see young people um, going to the university, work, because you know nowadays young people mm -hmm. don't have this motivation. Mm -hmm. uh, you know, a lot of young people are just like lazy, Instagram. You know, mm -hmm. don't want to work. TikTok. <laughs> TikTok. <laughs> yeah, they don't have no discipline. They don't want to mm -hmm. study. They don't want to work. Only mommy, papi, that's mm -hmm. it. Yeah. You know, and so, parties. And parties. Yeah. Mm -hmm. So congratulations for you. Thanks. I am I am proud of you. Oh, thanks, teacher. Yeah, yeah. All right. Welcome back, guys. Hello, Luis. Hello, Martin. Hello, Maria. Hello, Byron. Hello, Thank you, Kenya. Welcome, Angel. Good evening, teacher. Thank Good you. Good evening. Good oh, evening. Hello, Cindy. Hello, Andrea. Hello, Nuria. Hello, Paola. Hello, Kenya. Yamilet. Hello, Dennis Adonai. Welcome, welcome, ladies and gentlemen. I hope that everybody's feeling good. I know I am feeling good. I look good. So why not, right? <laughs> Who can tell me what information do you remember from yesterday's class? What vocabulary do you remember? What grammar structures do you remember? What exercises do you remember? Past tense. Okay, Maria, go ahead. Maria, past tense. Uh huh. Past tense. Uh, um, um, yeah. 
with we describe our house. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay, thank you, Maria. Can you describe your house, Maria? Oh, my house is 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 it's a small house. It's a small house. It's how many how many house. bedrooms? How many bedrooms are in your house? Here are two bedrooms. Um, uh, um, a, a kitchen with uh, with dining room, with dining included, and oh, uh, uh, um, I don't remember <laughs> what I say. <laughs> Okay. What do you want to say? Uh, Maybe I can help but, you. But but the the backyard is 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 bigger than house. Really? And I, and I like so you have any area. trees in the backyard? Uh, avocado trees, apple trees, mango Not trees. Not Not trees. Do you have any no. flowers? Roses? Yeah, lilies? yeah, flower. Yes. Um, uh, little plants uh, okay. and flowers. Yeah, yeah. So you're like but a gardener. But trees are too small yet. <laughs> oh, okay. Nice, nice. Good job. All right. Thank you, Maria. Anybody else? Who can tell me what else do you remember from yesterday's class? Who can describe their house? We we saw to the use to the to the two and and now. Okay, good job. Two and enough. Two and enough. Excellent, Martin. Can you give me some examples, Martin, on uh, some examples using two and enough? Um, for example, in my job, uh, in my job has uh, two works today, uh -huh. and I, I has a, uh, I has or I have, I has. Mm -mm. Uh, no, I have, I have a... Uh, I have, uh-huh, uh-huh. I have it enough for the... Um, for the lunch. Ah, okay. So you can say, I have enough to eat for lunch. Yes. Okay, okay. Can you describe your house, Martin? Um yes, my house is is, is comfortable com comfortable. Very enough. good. Comfortable. Uh, comfortable. comfortable um uh, my house has enough space. My house has enough space, good. And uh is is quiet enough. Okay, okay. Good, good. Where do you live? I live in Santa Ana City. Oh, is the weather nice in Santa Ana? What's the weather like? Yeah, more or less. Today is is a uh, rain. It's, it's, it's too rain. It's raining right now. Yes. Oh, okay. Nice. Do you like the rainy weather? Mm, yes. Yes. Mm, I don't know. You said mm, yes. You said mm, yes. <laughs> I don't. It's not a convincing yes. It's more <laughs> like a. It's more like a no. <laughs> uh, yes, it's it's cool. It's cool when when riding the the city. Okay. Okay. It's fresh. Nice. Fresh. 
Yeah, yeah. Me, um, me personally, I enjoy the Salvadorian weather. I, I like the rain. I like the tropical storms. You know, I, I enjoy that. I like to listen to the rain, look at the rain. It's very relaxing for me. All right, good job, Martin. Byron, can you describe your house? Yes. Hello. Good evening. Good evening. How are you? I'm uh, fine. How do you feel today? Mm, okay. In my house is. Uh, I don't know. I don't know. Um, uh, in my house is. Uh, so, uh, I don't know. Okay, how many bedrooms is your house? Okay, describe my house. In my house, yeah, my... describe your house. Yeah, yeah. Uh, in my house is no uh, recuerdo cómo se How many bedrooms are in your house? Okay, uh two 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 bedrooms. Okay. How many bathrooms are in your house? Bathroom. Bathrooms. Okay. Uh -huh. <laughs> I I do bedroom and bathroom too. Oh, two uh, bathrooms and two bath bedrooms. Yeah. Oh, um, it's a big house. Rooms are one, two, three, five room. Five rooms. <gasps> it's a big house. I don't know. I'm living in Colonia New. Where? Uh, Colonia it's New. Huge. Colonia what? New in Aguachapan City. Oh, Aguachapan. Okay, nice. Oh, nice. Okay. All right. And how is the weather in Aguachapan? Weather. Clima winter. <laughs> the winter. Day. Okay. It's... Um, Raining. Mm -hmm. raining. Is it raining? Is it raining right now? Yeah, in the afternoon. Oh, raining. okay. 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 And what do you like to do when it's raining? What do you normally do when it's raining? Um, uh, take, take, take the coat. Huh? Bring the coffee. You like to drink coffee? Yeah, or chocolate. Or ah. chocolate. Okay, okay. Do you watch movies or listen to music or only mm -hmm. listen to the rain? What do you like to do? Mm -hmm. I don't know what's the movie, maybe. Mm -hmm. Only see see the right. Okay. And what kind of movies do you like? Uh, suspense and action. Action, but, suspense. But no, or, no me gusta la de guerra. Oh, you don't like war movies? No. Action from Adventure. Oh, like Avengers. Avengers, yeah. Science fiction. Science fiction. Science fiction, yeah. Okay. Good, good. Do you like your house? Yeah, my house is fantastic. Okay. And from the parque. Park 
una zona verde muy grande, bien bonita. Ah, ok. So you could say it's a, a green, green spaces. Green spaces. Yeah. Mucho Ok. All right, that's cool. All right, uh, let me have Luis Miguel. Hi, teacher. Hello. How are you? I'm fine. Can you describe your house? Yes, of course. Uh, my house is big, but doesn't have enough rooms. Really? How many rooms does it have? It only has two rooms. Okay. Uh, my roommate's and bedroom. But... Roommate? You have a roommate? No, sorry. Uh, living room. Ah, okay. That That is their living room. Okay. This is small. It's really small. Uh, and where do you live? In San Jacinto. Oh, okay. San Salvador. And how is uh, the weather in San Jacinto? Right now, uh, stop rain. It's not raining right now. Not raining right now. Uh, okay. But in afternoon, really rain, really heavy. Really, right now? Yes. Okay. Okay. And tell me more about your house. Uh, it's, it's big, but uh has big garden garden space mm -hmm. inside mm -hmm. but outside don't have don't has a tree, tree no 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 you say outside it doesn't have trees okay and don't has a parking parking space no parking space no my mm -hmm. car is siding in the street oh do you have an alarm uh no no alarm in your car he he is really safe oh really and the street is large is it like in a private residential or something like that Sorry? Is it in a private residential or something like that? No, is is a street, but don't is principal street. Oh, okay. We say main street. Main street. Main street. It's not a main street. No, it is not main street. Uh but it's safe. It's really safe. Okay, okay. Nice. How long have you lived there? Um, I have five year, five year of living here. Oh, okay, it's a long time. And do you own the house, or are you paying it with the bank? And uh, no, is the house is is or my family, my wife and, and me. Oh, okay. 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 Uh -huh. uh, only that. Okay. Good. Good. Anybody else want to describe your house? Anybody else wants to describe your house? Okay, that's good enough. Okay, let's go ahead and move forward, guys. We're gonna be looking at section number three point two, knowledge check instructions uh, work on the following questions choose the correct answer for question one only you may want to listen to the audio program played on section 3.1 so you can answer it instructions uh, instrucciones trabaje en las siguientes preguntas escoja la respuesta correcta Para la pregunta uno, solamente esa, usted puede volver a escuchar el audio de la sección 3.1 para contestar. 
So let's go to section 3.1. And we're going to listen. Can everybody hear? Okay. Yes, of course. And I also want you to evaluate you your house or apartment using that. Uh, once can you again, hear the audio? The formula that I'm yes, I hear. Today. Okay. And then, of course, you're going to follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice as much as possible. Hi, everyone. By the end of this class, you will be able to give your opinion about houses and apartments. Additionally, you will be able to evaluate your own house and apartment. For example, you'll be able to make the following statements. Apartments are too small for pets but houses are too expensive. Houses cost too much money. Before I talk about the grammar involved in this particular class, what I would like to do now is I would like to play an audio program which illustrates how this topic is used. We will listen to a few people talk about their opinions on houses and apartments. Your task is to listen carefully and answer a couple of questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. Apartments are too small for pets. Apartments aren't big enough for families. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments have just as many expenses as houses. Apartments don't have as many rooms as houses. Houses aren't as safe as apartments. Houses aren't as convenient as apartments. Houses cost too much money. Houses don't have enough closet space. Houses don't have as much privacy as apartments. Let me present some structure now. The first thing that I would like to do is to show you how to make evaluations using adjectives and particularly we're going to learn how to use the words enough and to. After that we're going to make evaluations but this time we're going to use nouns and at the same time we're also going to use the words enough and also to. First of all, what are adjectives? Well, adjectives are those words that describe nouns. So they describe people, places, or things. Since we're talking about evaluating houses and apartments, what we want to do is we want to think about some of those adjectives that we might use to evaluate a house or an apartment. And so what I'm going to do is I'm just going to write a lot of those words here. And then what I would like for you to do is to uh, memorize this and uh, maybe study them if you're not familiar with them. So for example, we have the adjectives comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge, small, inconvenient, modern, noisy, private, quiet, safe, small, spacious. And I'm pretty sure you can think of many more. So let me present some structure at this time on how to make sense of this evaluation that you see there towards the left. Apartments aren't big enough for families. So in order for us to make that particular evaluation, we can think of the following structure. So let me go ahead and write that now. Following this structure, we can see that we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we have apartments. This is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be in its negative form. Okay. And then, and then this is going to be followed by the adjective. So in this case, the adjective is big. Then this is going to be followed by enough. And then um, we're going to have some sort of complement here. So in this case, it happens to be families, right? So if we look at the pattern, we have a subject. I'm going to go ahead and follow the colors so that we can see what's happening there. That's in black. There we go. So we can see that the subject is apartments then this is followed by the verb to be. In this case, it happens to be the verb to be in its negative form. After that, we're going to have some sort of adjective. And then it's going to follow the word enough. 
and then we're going to include um, some sort of complement, if you will. So if we think about other evaluations that we can say about apartments, either apartments or homes, then we can say the following. I'm going to go ahead and copy this because the next evaluation is going to be quite similar. So we can say the following. Apartments aren't, and so I'm going to change the adjective here. So I'm going to say aren't spacious enough for families. Okay. And let's do one more. Uh, we can also say that apartments aren't, and I'm going to change the adjective now. I'm going to say apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. The next thing that I would like to do is to make sense of that second evaluation that you see there at the bottom. Now using the word to. And so what I want you to notice is the following, that we're just going to have different ways of evaluating things. And so there isn't just one way to do it. There are many different ways. So in this case, we're going to use this expression. And I want you to notice what's going to change. So I want you to think about what is the opposite of big? Well, the opposite of big, we can, we can think of that as being small, right? So in this case, I want you to notice what, what's going to change. So in this case, I'm going to say apartments are. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to include two small. So the only thing that changes is that I'm no longer using the bird to be in its negative form, but now I'm using it in its positive form. And then I'm including two plus the adjective small and I'm saying for families. So what I want you to notice is that these two sentences, these two evaluations are the same thing. The only thing is that I'm expressing them in different ways. The next thing that I would like to do now is to show you how to make evaluations. But now we're going to talk about making evaluations using nouns. And a couple of things will change. And so let me present the formula at this time, and I'm going to show you what kind of things will change. Well, first of all, um, similar to making evaluations with adjectives, we're going to have a subject. So in this case, we're going to say apartments. Okay, That's going to follow a verb. In this case, it's no longer the verb to be. So that's the first thing that changes we're no longer using the verb to be. So in this case, we're using any other kind of verb. In this case, it happens to be that that's on a negative. So we, we're going to say don't have. That's uh, The verb is on its negative form. And then this follows enough. So opposite from adjectives, where we would include the adjective first, when we make evaluations using nouns, we no longer use the adjective first. We're going to include enough and then we're going to include the noun so let me give an example here don't have enough and then uh, whatever um, noun that we want to include so in this case don't have enough parking spaces okay uh, so the noun is parking spaces and then you can think of a complement if you will so you can include something else there so for example uh, what could that be don't have enough parking spaces for people right that could be the complement. But in this case, the noun is parking spaces. And quickly, I want to talk about nouns. So what are nouns? What are some of the nouns that we can think about when we are um, you know, thinking about making evaluations of apartments and houses? Well, uh, we can think of things like parking spaces, as you can see there. We can think of things like closet space. Right? We can think of things like privacy, and of course, we can think of things like money, if you will. Right. So these kind of things are nouns that we can think of. So we can say the following. Apartments don't have enough parking spaces. Apartments don't have enough closet space. Apartments don't have enough privacy. And the last example that I would like to make is how to use to. So in this case, what I'm going to do is I'm going to say, well, this, I'm going to take that example there. Houses, this follows the verse, so that continues to be the same. We are no longer going to include the word enough. So in this case, we're going to use too much money. right? 
houses cost too much money. So if we can think of this, I'm going to follow the pattern there, houses cost, that follows the verb. And then in this case, I want you to notice what happened. So we include too much money. The last thing that I would like for you to do now is to evaluate your house or apartment, depends on where you live, right? And I want you to evaluate your house or apartment using adjectives such as the ones that are here and of course following the formula that I presented to you earlier today. And I also want you to evaluate your house or apartment using nouns. So uh, once again, using the formula that I'm presenting to you today. And then of course, you're going to follow this formula. So I want you to make as many examples as you possibly can. The idea is to practice as much as possible. Okay, so we're going to go ahead and check this one over here. Uh, who can give me the answer for number one? Mm, me. Nuria. Hi. <laughs> Hello. How are you? Very good. Awesome. Nice. <laughs> so, I feel good. Na, 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 na. Na, na. <laughs> okay, number one. Yes. According to the audio on um, section three pump one, apartments. And the answer is number one are too small for pits. Apartments are too small for pits. Very good. Apartments are too small for pets. Good job. Number two, Maria. Uh, number two, which is correct. Uh, the correct is number three. Apartments are comfortable enough for families. Perfect. Apartments aren't comfortable enough for families. Number three, Byron. Uh, Byron, you have your microphone on silence. We cannot hear you. Okay. Hey. Number three. Yes. Which is the correct? Uh, number one, apartment don't have privacy enough. Number two, apartments don't have enough privacy. Number privacy. Three, privacy. Privacy. Apartment. Apartment have privacy enough. Good pronunciation, privacy. Good job. I think I think um, the angle the answer for it answer is... answer the W is silent. Answer 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 correct correct is. Um, maybe B. B. Okay. Good, good. Thank you. Byron. Luis. Number four. Okay. Luis. Before say which is correct. Uh, apartments don't have space and out. Apartment don't have an out space. And Apartment have a space and out. Uh, my answer is apartment don't have a space and out. The apartments first apartments don't have space enough. Let's check. Ding 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 ding. Oh well. no. Okay. Can the whole second one? Nuria. Nuria, good job, Nuria. Let's see. Awesome, awesome, good job. 
Good job. Okay, guys, it's already time to take the attendance. So please, when I call your name, I want you to say presente. I don't want you to say presente. I feel so happy. Yeah, I'm here. I am happy. Thank you. I'm so happy. Right? I don't want you to say it like that. I want you to say presente. Any questions? Any questions? No. no. All right. Let me see. Nine to ten, nine to ten, nine to ten. Let me see. Andrea. Dayana. Present. 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 Good job. Third. Good. Andrea Esmeralda. Present teacher. Excellent. Energy. I like that. Energy. Angel. Angel. Are you an angel, Angel? Present. Are you an angel? Present. All right. Thank you, Angel. Byron. Probably. Probably. <laughs> Byron. Present teacher. All right. Dennis. Dennis. Present. Present. My favorite restaurant in La Zona Rosa is Dennis. Hi, Ling. Present teacher. Good job, Hi Ling. Catherine. Present, good evening. Good evening. Welcome to the class. Kenya Roxana. Good evening, teacher. Good Present. job, good evening. <laughs> Kenya Yamile. Present teacher. All right. Luis. Present, sir. Okay, I like that. I like that. Energy, energy. Maria, tell me. I'm here. All right, good job. Martin. Present. Excellent. Moises. Present. Very good. Nayeli. Nayeli. He is absent. Nuria. Here I am. Fantastic. Rebecca. Present teacher. All right. And Cindy. Here. Good job, Cindy. All right, guys. Thank you for your participation. Okay, guys. Now we're going to go ahead and take a look at the following activity. At this moment, do you have any questions in regards to these activities? Okay, let's look at section number 3.3. Practice using adjectives and nouns to express comparisons in English. In this lesson, practice comparing houses and apartments to express similarities or differences. Additionally, learn how to use expressions of quantity like just as, enough, or too much, to modify adjectives and nouns. For example, just as comfortable or too few closets. Comparison adjectives. Let's listen to the video, please. Take notes. If you have any questions, Hi, everyone. raise your hand you and I will help you. 
and can everybody hear about houses and apartments can everybody yes. hear you yes to express okay. yes Larry's about your house right. and your neighbor's house for example you'll be able to make the following comparisons apartments don't have as much privacy as houses houses aren't as convenient as apartments in this class we're going to learn how to make comparisons with adjectives and we're also going to learn how to make comparisons with nouns and what do I mean by adjectives well if we look at the adjective convenient and what do I mean by nouns well if we look at the noun rooms or privacy that's what I mean by adjectives and nouns so let me present the formula at this time what we want to do is we want to make sense of the comparisons that are towards the bottom we're going to start with comparisons with adjectives so in order for us to make sense of this what I'm going to do is I'm just going to um, write the same example that is there and then we're going to make a few more to make sure that we understand the topic so first of all we're going to have some sort of subject this is going to be followed by the verb to be the verb to be can be in its positive form or in its negative form and it will then it will be followed by as the adjective and as so quick example houses aren't as convenient as apartments towards the end you will include whatever it is that you're comparing your subject with so in this case I'm comparing houses versus apartments now let me give another example what I want to do now is I'm going to choose a different subject so in this case I'm going to say apartments and what I'm going to say I'm going to continue to make negative statements there apartments aren't as and I'm going to say expensive as houses apartments aren't as quiet as houses and you can say apartments aren't as and I'll use the adjective here spacious as houses what I would like to do now is explain how to express similarities that means that they are the same or almost the same and that's our last example there houses are just as convenient as apartments that opinion means that they are the same so I want you to take a look at that example apartments that's gonna follow the verb to be in its positive form and then it's gonna follow as or just as okay actually uh, you can either say just as or you can simply say as and, and both will be the correct way of expressing it so we can say apartments are just as expensive as houses and that's my personal opinion right or you can simply say apartments are as expensive as houses and you can use any adjective to compare the two you can say apartments are as quiet as houses apartments are as spacious as houses apartments are as convenient just like we see the example there right as houses as so a remember that this kind of things you're making comparisons so maybe in your area apartments are the same as houses so they cost the same you know they are as big as houses uh, apartments are as convenient as houses etc usually that's not the case usually there are big differences among houses and apartments but in this case we're saying that they are the same what I would like to do now is to show you how to make comparisons but this time I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns and what do I mean by nouns well when we talk about nouns in the context of comparing houses and apartments we can think of things like rooms privacy bedrooms bathrooms kitchens anything that has to do with what's inside of a house or outside of a house those are nouns if you will and what I would like to do is to propose this formula that you see towards the bottom in order for us to make sense of this comparison here on the top 
So first of all, we're going to have some sort of subject. So in this case, as you can see, apartments is um, our uh, subject there. I'm going to go ahead and make this small because I want it to fit on the screen. So apartments, that follows the verb. The verb can be in its, po in its positive form or in its negative form. And then we're going to include as or just as, as you can see there. And after that, you will include many plus account now. So I want you to pay attention to that real fast. We're going to have many plus a count noun. And what do we mean by count nouns? Well, count nouns are those things that you can easily count. If you recall the previous lesson that we saw where we talked about count nouns and non-count nouns, we said that count nouns are those things that you can easily count. Or this will follow much plus a non-count noun. So I want you to look at that for a moment now. And what do we mean by non-count? Well, Again, recalling the previous lesson that we saw, we learned that non-count nouns are those things that are difficult to count. And then it's going to follow as plus some sort of noun. So let me write the example here. Apartments have as many rooms as houses. And then we'll take that last example there. Apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. In our first example, we're saying that they are pretty much the same, so they're quite similar. In our second example, we are saying that there's a difference between houses and apartments, and that is that apartments don't have as much privacy as houses. And then again, you can make many different comparisons between houses and apartments. What else can you say? Well, you can say that apartments don't have as many windows as houses. That might be the case. You can say that apartments don't have as much space as houses. Finally, the last thing that I would like for you to do is to practice these concepts that we have learned. And I want you to make the comparison between your house and your neighbor's house. I want you to use nouns and adjectives to compare your house and your neighbor's house. So just a little help here, you can you can use the adjectives that I'm proposing here, such as comfortable, convenient, dangerous, dark, bright, expensive, huge. And if you want to use those adjectives when you can use this formula, right? Like for example, you can say, my house isn't as expensive as my neighbor's house. Or it could be the other way around. For example, you can say my neighbor's house isn't as expensive as my house. At the same time, you also want to make comparisons with nouns. For example, you can say my house doesn't cost as much money as my neighbor's house. Or again, it could be the other way around. You can, you can say my neighbor's house doesn't cost as much money as my house. All right, let's go ahead and uh, take a look at this one right here. I'm going to give you just a couple of examples. Time, um, I'm going to show you how to make comparisons with nouns. And okay, for example, uh, we're going to do an example with as. As. Look at as, for example. I say McDonald's is as delicious as Burger King, right? So what does that mean? What does that mean? That means that McDonald's and Burger King are equal, equal as delicious. Do you understand? Do you understand? Yeah, I understand. Okay. I got an example, please. Yes. 
uh, you can say, for example, um, let's say, ah, okay. Uh, is you say, uh, you say uh, when you use a noun, is like a one thing versus other thing. Yes, when it's equal, equal, yeah, yeah. not one more than the other one or one less than the other one. No, equal, the same. So I say Serb City is as beautiful as Miami Beach. That means that they are equal, the same. Yeah. Not more, not less, the same. Uh, you can say, for example, Netflix is as boring <laughs> as Amazon Prime videos. <laughs> Netflix is as boring as Amazon Prime videos, right? So that means they are equal boring. Amazon is with C. Oh, okay. okay. Imagine this with S. Actually, it's much better. What, what, what? What? I couldn't HBO. hear you. HBO. Oh, HBO. Yes, HBO. I HBO have HBO is much better. Yeah, yeah. I have HBO too. I have Netflix, HBO, and Amazon Prime. I have all three. And ask me if I watch one. Ask me. No, I do you don't. watch one of them? No, I do not. I don't have time. It's boring Hi. for me. Yeah. And what are you paying for? Because I got it. I can do it. <laughs> can you pass me the password? Yeah, it's okay. Of course. Will you? Say? <laughs> yes. No problem. I don't. I don't watch it. All right. Any questions? Yeah, I don't. I have, I have sure. better, I, have, I read, I read books. I what live. What kind of book? Uh, this one is called The Seven Spiritual Laws of Success. I like to read wow. uh, finance books, um, self-motivation books, um, about nutrition, good nutrition. From Deepak Chopra. Deepak Chopra, there you go, Maria Delmi. You got it, of course. Uh, yes. Nice, love it. Yeah. Martin, what's going on, Martin? Talk to me now. Teacher, could you give me an example when don't don't have a, a equals? Uh, they use as. No, it's impossible. You cannot use as. When it's not, oh, do you mean, um, ah, okay, okay. I can, I, I understand, I understand. For example, I can say, I will go to the club dressed as a pirate. Do you mean something like that? Mm. I will go to the club dressed as a pirate. In the, uh, yeah. it, the the question is about in the platform. There are a question. Uh, my neighbor doesn't have. Uh, a space as my old house. 
there are spaces when I I I read a word, but I don't I don't I don't know. Ah, oh, okay, okay, okay. I got you. I got you. You're talking about the following activity. Yes. Okay, let's look at the next activity. What number? Number um three three that's five. This one. Yes, this is the last. Right here, my new house doesn't have as much as space much as my old much. house. Uh -huh. All right, who can give me the answer for number one, which is correct? The third. What, repeat, Maria? The third uh, answer. In my opinion. In my opinion, houses are just as expensive as apartments in my neighborhood. Excellent, good job. Number two, Nuria. Uh -huh. Let me see. My neighbor's house has five bedrooms, but my house. Let me see. Isn't as big as his. Perfect. Isn't as big yeah. as his. Number three. Luis. Uh, I don't like to live in an apartment because they don't have a uh, at first, don't have as many rooms as houses. No, 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 sir. No, don't have many rooms as houses. Don't have as much rooms as houses. And um, third, third one. Ding, 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 ding. No, no, the third one. Oh, you were oh. correct on the first one. Don't have as many rooms as houses. Okay, good job. Good job. Um, does anybody have any questions about this topic right now? It's clear. For me, okay. it's clear. Anybody we else? We just need practice. Yeah, you got to practice. You got to practice. This is a new topic. So whenever you have a new topic, you do have to practice. Okay. We have time for one more exercise, which is here. Uh, learning how to express personal career and health. Oh, I love this. Expressing wishes and desires is a big part of communicating with friends. I want to be a billionaire. Learn how to express wishes. I wish I were a billionaire. That Me you too. have, <laughs> let's do it. That you have yeah. about your personal life career or health. That's why I don't have time for Netflix, Amazon Prime, and HBO Plus because I have a personal life, I have a career, and I have a fitness health life. So I don't have time for TV. This lesson from English teacher Joe Sines and Ruben Santos explains how to use the verb to wish in the present tense and combine it with a past tense verb to express wishes. For example, I wish I didn't live with my parents. Oh, I wish I had a different job. Oh, or I wish I were Ruben thinner. Ah, huh? are you Ruben Santos? Uh, my name is Ruben Santos. Okay. Yes, that's my name. Uh, I wish I were thinner. This lesson includes an oral language comprehension exercise. But Mr. Donuts doesn't help to be thinner because donuts don't help get thinner. It's the opposite. So yeah. if you want to be thin, don't eat donuts. Or pollo campero. Me too. 
<laughs> yeah. Hello, everyone. It's so delicious. At the delicious, end of this class, you'll learn how to express present good. wishes that you have about your personal life, career, and health. For example, you'll be able to make the following expressions. I wish I didn't live with my parents. I wish I had a different job. I wish I were thinner. Before I present the material, what I would like for you to do is to listen to an audio program that illustrates how this topic is used. Your task is to listen carefully and complete some questions that I'll have for you at the end of the audio program. So, are you still living with your parents, Terry? I'm afraid so. I wish I had my own apartment. Why? Don't you like living at home? It's okay. Okay, I want you to notice he said, he said, I wish I had my own apartment. So I want you to notice the verb is in simple past. Right. For example, you say, I wish I were a millionaire. So, no, no, millionaire, no. Billionaire. Billionaire, jaburre. Billionaire. Right. So. <laughs> So I want you to notice the verb is in simple past. Or you can say, I wish I, I wish I, ah, I wish I were a little bit taller. Have you ever heard that song? I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl that looked good. I will call her. I wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat, a six foot baller. Have you heard that? That song? No? no okay. It's a song. It's a song. That's what he says. I wish I was a little bit taller. I wish I was a baller. I wish I had a girl that looked good. I would call her. I wish I had a rabbit in a hat with a bat, six foot baller. It's an old song. Okay, guys, it's time to go. Yeah, it's old school. It's time to go. It's time to go. I can see it in your faces. You want to go eat. Or you want to go to sleep. You want to watch Netflix and HBO Max and Net and Amazon Prime and all that good stuff. So I will let you go and I will see you tomorrow. Please continue working on the platform. Don't stop. Can't stop. You can do it. English is e c c c c c c c more. Good night. Good night.